Manhunt. In her search for the perfect mate, Troy's mother beams aboard the Enterprise and sets her sights on Captain Picard. The Enterprise is escorting dignitaries to a conference. One of them are the Antedians, who look like Power Rangers fish monsters. One of the fish people is played by Mick Fleetwood from Fleetwood Mac, which is awesome that he would play something where you can't even tell that it's him. And I like Worf's comment. What a handsome race. Wesley immediately shows how prejudiced he is again. They are rather strange looking, Commander. Judging a being by its physical appearance is the last major human prejudice, Wesley. And again. Is this how you felt when you first saw me? Well, maybe at first a little. The second dignitary is Troy's mom, so we know where this is going. The humor in this episode works because it expects the viewers to get it on their own. Sometimes the producers manage to fine-tune the way they present the goofy humorous moments. It's not always perfect, but if they hadn't fine-tuned it for this episode, it would have been a train wreck. And what's frustrating is they do that in some episodes, but then sometimes they still go back to the old way. It's good to see people on the ship actually talking like people once in a while. And she actually complimented Captain Picard on his legs. <laughs> I would have thought a telepath would be more discreet, sir. Exactly the opposite. She knows what's on your mind, and she lets you know what's on hers. Because, you know, you wouldn't expect them to just be sitting around joking about shit. Right. It turns out Loxana is looking for a mate, and is trying to get Picard in the sack, but he maneuvers very skillfully around it. Commander, if your duties permit, why don't you join us for dessert? I'm sure that Mrs. Troy would much appreciate the pleasure of your company. What? Indeed, sir. I'm on my way. Data out. When Picard shows up to the dinner, he brings a space thermos of blue Gatorade. He's going to need to recharge his electrolytes after what they're going to be doing. <laughs> he uses Data to deflect Loaxana's attention. I must, uh, as a matter of fact, be getting back to the bridge. Captain, perhaps I should remain and further entertain our guest. No, I, I mean, I'm sure you're needed on the bridge as well. Deanna reveals that Loxana is reaching sexual maturity for a Betazoid. So we don't really get any indication of what the real plot is until over 15 minutes in, which is fine in this case because the setup is well handled. When Troy talks about the phase her mother is going through, Riker chimes in. A Betazoid woman, when she goes through this phase, quadruples her sex drive. Or more. Or more. Never told me that. I didn't want to frighten you. She has opted for the only dignified option open to her. It seems, Captain, that you are the early favorite. Congratulations, sir. So Picard decides to go hide out in his Dixon Hill video game, and even the holodeck stuff has the same humor permeating throughout. I'm here to kill you. Computer, freeze program! There's a job I want you to do for me. Computer, freeze program! You may continue. Thank you. You're true ducking me, Hill! Computer, freeze program! There's not too much plot stuff to explain. It all plays out on its own, and it was good. I like how the episode ends when it turns out that the fish people are assassins. Oh, they're not delegates. Those two are assassins. That is an outrage! Nice! Oh, their robes are lined with ultratium. Highly explosive, virtually undetectable by your transporter. She's correct, sir. Manhunt. Overall? Waxana feels more like a real person than any of the main cast members in this show. She's a character that could easily become annoying, but this is a very enjoyable episode with good, well-written humor. I would give it a B. I give this one an A-. I really like this one. It was funny. It was well-written. The humor was presented in a great way, and there are so many good moments throughout the whole thing. Luxana is a great character to play off of everybody else, especially Picard, and it's definitely more refined than it was the first time she showed up. I like the casual feel, like everybody was kind of taking a break from being so uptight and stupid about everything. <laughs> I liked it.